Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, today we are going to work or uh, look on uh, Nano, Data Nano ECM. And I have already opened the, uh, both the upper and the lower cases in the previous video. So I am trying to show you as to what all the components uh, that constitute an ECM. First of all, we see that there are uh, two connectors. One connector is uh, empty and the other connector has some pins. Uh, it has got uh, 56 pins and uh, we have some narrow pins and a little bit wider pins as well. And uh, usually the wider pins uh, relate to the actuators and the powers and grounds. And the uh, narrow pins will uh, relate to the inputs like from sensors so as you see the numbers are uh, encircled and uh, with in this uh, ECM the processor is uh, a tricor from uh, Infineon and the power and system IC together in a single IC the number would be 40048 uh, and this takes care of all the processes uh, of the you know inputs and outputs and the reference voltage being sent to the sensors and in the ECM we are all we have is um, the usual components or the uh, surface mounted devices or the surface surface mounted components namely uh, resistors capacitors inductors diodes transistors uh, MOSFETs crystal then EP ROM and these are the components these are the only component that we have in each and every ECM all we need to know is the working principles of those components how to check them and also the most important uh, thing is not to forget is to uh, know about the tracks as to how one component is connected to the other and usually the systems go wrong uh, when the tracks are damaged either due to corrosion or some other uh, means and uh, once we have checked all the components visually and then uh, you need to have a clear description of uh, all the wiring that the ECM has it's a good idea to have all the description because in India we do not have uh, any wiring diagrams available uh, like in the other countries so I have made a note of the all the 56 pins I have literally tracked each and every pin each and every wire that goes to the pin from the sockets and I have made note of uh, all the uh, you know the sensors that those wires go to and as we see we have some empty pins as well that's no wire connected to those pins and uh, after uh, making a note of those wirings, I have made a, a wiring diagram of my own to my understanding and I have cross checked on the car once again after making note of uh, all the uh, pins and the wire that they go to and once I have cross checked each and every wire that's when I give the power and the grounds to the computer and uh, I will see as to if I get a supply from the main relay or the ground out to the main relay is given or not. Once the ground out to the main relay is given, that's when the supply from the main relay comes back to the ECM. And then that's when the process actually starts. And uh, then the ECM starts uh, giving ground outs or the controls. Uh, the oil uh, fuel pump and the oil uh, all the dashboard lights whatever is being controlled by the computer and here we see 50 51 and 52 pins relate to the ground and then uh, 53 uh, relates to the main socket or main uh, relay uh, even the 53 the red wire that comes to 53 is also shared between uh, injectors a b or one or two and then uh, the uh, pressure switch of the sensor and uh, we have some controls or the some ground out being given to some of the relays like the fuel pump relay the condenser fan relay and then uh, 
many other relays which are controlled by the computer usually all the relays computer, uh, controlled by the computer are controlled on the negative side of the relay that the uh, the control portion of the relay is 86 and 85 pins and uh, usually the computers control the negative uh, supply or uh, the negative uh, part of the uh, uh, electromagnetic uh, circuit so this is how the working of the uh, ECM would be and in the next video we will see as to what the supplies and the grounds relate to and uh, we will discuss one by one and I will try to give as much knowledge as I can from what I have learned from the theory I have read from the books or the videos I have watched on YouTube or somewhere else. So I think this would make uh, life easier for other uh, my co-mechanics to you know get to know about the ECM. Thank you so much for watching and you all have a good day.